Um, we are at the Guad Vintage Market right now. I'm buying some things. What's up guys, it's Lucas, we are back. Um, I haven't done a pickups video in months, I think since like summer last year. So I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. Brandon also has some pickups to show you guys, so uh, we're gonna get straight into it. First pickup we have is this t-shirt right here. I got it at a local vintage market. I think it was personal vintage. Just says a uh, class of 67 on there. I'm assuming it's a 10 year reunion, so like 77. Not gonna go through all the t-shirts, but this is a pretty cool one. Gonna get straight into the pants next. To start this off, we have some Deadstock 517s. They're the orange tabs right there. I got this from my friend at Stitches Vintage. It's got a little bit of discoloration on the back leg there, but that's the only thing off on these. Pretty good color, it's like a brown tone. 517s are usually a pretty good slim uh, flared slightly flared pants we have another pair of orange tabs I, I've picked these up local I'm pretty sure you can see the orange tab on there is super faded it's got this pretty cool patch on the front there it's kind of outlined with a blue these pants were super long I think they were like a 36 inseam so I just I just cut them down to a 32 inseam pretty nice wash uh, surprisingly have been wearing these a lot it's got a little bit of repairing on the I don't know upper leg area been wearing them a lot okay going from flares to some bell bottoms this is a pretty simple pair of bell bottoms I think they might be a women's pair as well it's brand is American graffiti yeah it does say unisex so I don't know but it's got these little uh, red stars on the back pockets pretty nice uh, vibrant blue color I mainly got them due to like the really wide leg which I really like pairs that fit like that I know uh, like 684s kind of have like a slimmer fit and then open wide, but these have like a wider thigh. Also pretty sure I just found these on eBay, just a random uh, listing I saw. Another pair of flares, these are probably my favorite pair right now. On the back you can see it's a brand called French Star. It has these crazy little uh, triangle shape type pockets. I got them from Monkey's Vintage here in Austin. They say they're a waist uh, 33 but they definitely just fit like a 30. And the inseam is supposedly 36, I don't think so. I think more like a 33 if anything. More, Yeah, more like a 32. Obviously beige tan color. Yeah, I am pretty um, scared to get these dirty but I, I don't know. I, they're pretty old. They're from the 70s. They're, they're gonna get dirty. Can't seem to find my dark blue bell bottom, so I'll just show you these ones. It's a Tommy Hilfiger flared pants in kind of like just a washed um, denim color. This is kind of just a random find I got from a vintage store. It didn't cost me much. It was like less than 15 bucks. They actually fit pretty well. I've been wearing them a lot and I'm not too worried if I uh, mess them up. I wish I had my Seafarer uh, bill bottoms I could show you, but I can't find them. All right, another pair of pants, just some uh, classic slacks from L.L. Bean. I love finding L.L. Bean stuff. It's uh, usually pretty good quality. I think they had been uh, altered by a tailor or something. They look a little bit shortened. Uh, they're about a 31 length or something. Probably 31. Regular trousers, brown tan trousers. Another pair of pants quick. These are some made well double knees uh, these are obviously based off the carhartt double knees i would say the shape is really similar but these were sent to me by made well which is like a, a pretty common clothing brand you've probably seen some of their stuff they actually do have really good denim they're not lying it's it's made well yeah grateful to have those i think it's a pretty cool pair of white pants another really quick pair of pants are these black corduroys from actually tony hawk but i've been wearing these like all the time perfect straight straight fit pants 2000s it's just made to be like a skater pant pretty sure i wore tony hawk like shorts in elementary school or middle school or something so kind of weird to have another pair uh, just grabbed these in a goodwill ended up wearing them all the time all right last pair of pants i promise it's these Columbia shell pants. Not sure what these would be called. It's like this uh, hiking shell material. You can probably hear that, but it's like a nice 
straight leg. You can also um, change the leg opening with like a little Velcro strap up here. What's up, Chief? <laughs> Brandon's watching me as I'm... All right, that's, that's all the pants. Good Lord. This is my new pride possession. Great heavens, I look grateful dead. I'm addicted to rags. People are roasting me for the fit of it, but if it's absolutely perfect. No, I, I think it's sick. All new. These are all new right here? Clown shit on the back. Another dead shirt. Grateful dead. Man, it's probably from the 2000s. It's old. It's a good summer tea. Pizza time. Oh, this is from our boy. It's Stitches, right? Yeah, Adam. That's from Adam. Rust tea got from Avengers. For steel, I do not listen to Rush. I don't mind their music, but no, that's a crazy find. It is crazy, and it was only thirty dollars. So it was thirty bucks for like 81. for an '80s Rush tee. It's nothing. Sigma Chad shirt. Yeah, purple boy. Mm. Got this for a deal. Sweeney Todd. I mentioned it in my video, but I got it for fifty, and he originally wanted two hundred for it. Crazy. It's like. Super patriotic t-shirt. USA. Right. Mm, my, my new like everyday bag. It's like mm. military satchel looking. Oh, Crisis yeah. hooked it up. He got us a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely showing this. What is it's that? Crazy. Oh. <laughs> from Cam. This is from Cam. Yeah. Six nine. Um, so this is like an Ohio State shirt. A oh, nice ring. Weird here. colorway for Ohio State. I didn't show like any t-shirts in my video because like I, I just had too many pickups. I'm vengeance. I'm vengeance. Oh! I only got ones yet. Oh, just, the I strokes. Stretch it. Yeah. Strokes T. And then, I don't think I've worn this yet either. No, I've seen you wear them. What about that? Nice. Oh yeah, these are new. Yeah, I found these on a rack. Actually, Brandon's showing, showing ass right now. <laughs> From Jerm. He's a freak, but this hoodie's cool. Yeah, it's a sick hoodie. That, like, very cropped, like, washed. Oh yeah, like these. But I'm not rocking the bells, I'm rocking these. That is these a good Calvin jeans, they're like super baggy. Baggy straight fit, aren't they? So, no, those are sick. It's hard to find like Calvins that aren't um, tapered too. Yeah, the sweat pretty recently. Ooh. It's like 60s, 70s. That's nice. Sorority shit. Were you showing all that stuff off in your video too? I just showed some random shit. What is this? Oh. Middle aged man to come up to you and say you have a nice t shirt on, just wear a dinosaur junior t shirt. No bitches will come up to you, only old men. Frisco. Only wear hats. This is my pride possession hat that will never sell. We yeah. don't wear it that much. Price is going up on it, isn't it? Price is going up. Hey, what's this? Hey. What is this, pal? Explain that. Oh, I He's a madman. I think I've shown these. Oh, baby. Yeah, you haven't Impossible shown these. To find. Yeah, whale's boner. Got my stock X, which I hate, but. Yeah, do we gotta do? This is gonna take me like eight years to edit. Wait, here's the other mug. Moving on to the jackets. I'm actually going to skip the cardigans. I just realized I have so many pickups. Me and Brandon will probably do a separate video for our cardigans. I know it's about to get hot, but I've been wearing a lot of these really light chore-ish jackets. Uh, this has been my favorite jacket for a while. Uh, since I got it, I've been wearing it like multiple times a week. It is a vintage walls, uh, Texas, USA work, sports, and utility jacket. It's basically like a light chore. It's got this amazing fade on it, and it's got this corduroy detail on the pockets. It's a really beautiful jacket. So this is a bit of an older find. I'm sure y'all have seen this uh, a bunch of times, but I actually found this in a Goodwill bins, or we found it in a Goodwill bins. It's just a uh, military liner. It's oval-like pattern that kind of weaves through the jacket. Uh, definitely just a lucky find at the bins. Uh, this is a pretty brand new pickup for me. Pretty sure this is an old JCPenney jacket. It's got this really cool cropped fit, 70s, something like that. It's got this uh, patterned inside lining in red. Uh, makes it really comfy and the jacket just fits really well. 
It's got like snap closure buttons and it's cropped. It's just a good blue color. And once it gets colder again, I'll definitely be wearing it a lot. I think this is just a pretty timeless piece if you ask me and I know I'll have it in my wardrobe for a while. Vintage sellers at right here. Great guy, appreciate you crisis. Um, here's a pretty cool find. Got this at Monkey's Vintage again. Uh, this was like 15 bucks. It's a members only jacket in this washed out olive green color. Uh, definitely resembling something military. Cool like stitching on the top shoulders, top of the shoulders. Pale yellow lining, which I think is really cool. Very cropped fit. Again, like it's very similar to this JCPenney jacket. Got this uh, really nice flap. I've been wearing this a lot and I think it just kind of fits with a lot of my clothes. All right, here's kind of a weird jacket. Grandma jacket, like, like very light coat jacket. Um, it's made out of this really cool cool quilted material it's got like all these different patterns and tones and colors in it but yeah i really love bodhi but i cannot afford it uh unfortunately when i go to new york i'm definitely stealing tanner's bodhi jacket i thought this was a cool little alternative it's good to like layer over like a hoodie or sweatshirt or knitwear or something like that neat to have like a different fit and color than any other jacket next we have this pendleton flannel it's just a blue uh, wool flannel that I found in a local shop. I was usually thrifting flannels in Goodwills uh, when I was like 16. Very vibrant color, but uh, I like it. Definitely gonna keep it in the collection. Usually don't show off a lot of fleeces on this channel, but I found this really cool oatmeal tan colored fleece. It is a Columbia one. I feel like it's a women's piece because it has such like a cropped fit on it purple and green accents mostly this oatmeal color which i love fits really cropped really snug we're going uh from spring straight to summer honestly and uh not gonna be able to wear this that often i did get this at the end of winter so i got a little bit of wear out of it i think uh, an oatmeal fleece is pretty timeless so something a little different i don't think i've ever shown blazers on this channel but i usually do try and find good blazers to thrift. This is just a like cream tan one with this grid pattern on it. Um, I do like blazers, I like wearing them. Honestly, haven't been able to wear this one at all really because I just got it not too long ago. Sleeves are like slightly too short on me but with like a cuffed shirt underneath it's fine. It's honestly hard to find blazers that fit me so I'm grateful to have found this. Pretty similar to the last one. This is just a black blazer. I'm not even gonna get into it too much. Yeah like I said guys sorry I have way too many pickups. We got the last jacket right here. It's a Pacific Trail sportswear jacket. Definitely gives me like a boat or like swimming vibe but it's like this all cream jacket it's got these uh cuffs and like little black buttons i mostly really really like the detail of the pockets on the front it has the same kind of flap that my green members only jacket has moving on we have some sweatshirts and some sweaters here's a scandia vintage sweater it's this gray black and red print these kind of like x formations on the front i think this was also from monkeys vintage uh so thanks monkeys i guess i've been getting a lot of stuff from you guys almost the exact same fit we have like a gray brown and white one well actually i wore this in a video i'm not even going to talk about it vintage sweaters are something i wear a lot are great for spring great for fall i wear them in winter uh, here's an all red like cherry red sweater we got here it's very old tag found this in a goodwill kind of raglan sleeve shape on it it's uh, nothing crazy it's a red sweater brand is the fox collection another vintage find definitely a weird pickup from a goodwill it's this uh i believe like 80s or 90s button-up crew neck sweater I'm not really sure what you would call this sleeve detail it's kind of like a football rugby shirt cost me like three bucks or something and uh, has a very unique fit very warm inside it's kind of got like a fleece material that's what i like about thrifting you can always find pretty unique pieces that you don't see anywhere else speaking of unique we have a brown Carhartt sweater. I know you've probably seen this before a thousand times, but I personally still love Carhartt. I don't care that it was like a trend or something. Brown's also like a color I'm always gravitating towards. All right, and last sweatshirt right here. 
we just have this 1889 South Fork Fishing and Hunting Club Johnstown Flood National Memorial. So it's like a little memorial tee. It's printed on a jersey's blank with the raglan sleeves. A little small on me, but it's uh, like a good fit for flares, bell bottoms, stuff like that. Almost forgot to add this red Budweiser varsity jacket with this really cool white leather stripe on the arm. It's got nothing really on the front, no patches or anything, but it does have this big Budweiser on the back. If you watched my last video, you know I just did a boots video collection. I slightly featured these uh, tan white ones here, but not that much. I was mostly talking about all the boots I've had for that. Even though that video just came out like a month ago, I already have more boots and more pickups to show you guys. Kind of a boot fiend. Starting off, we have these cream ostrich leather cowboy boots. Um, these are literally my favorite boots and uh, will be in my wardrobe forever because I love these so much. Inside says Panhandle Slim. They're a size 10D. Honestly kind of dirty on the toes. I've been wearing these everywhere. I wear them to work. Um, something not in that boot video are these Solomons, which I know everyone's had a pair of these. Um, I thrifted this pair in a Goodwill for like eight bucks or something like that. Definitely worth it. I do really like the shape. I don't love this color that much, so I don't think I'll be wearing them that much. Uh, some Something to kind of experiment with. All right, a new pair of boots. These are from a Goodwill. I don't know what brand they are. They have this really cool stitching detail on the top of the shoe. Uh, that's why I got them. Uh, looking down at them, they have almost like this split toe kind of look. Kind of reminds me of a tabby. Side profile kind of looks like a tabby as well. It's got a really big heel on it. The leather is super rough, super cracked in this like rustic red brown color. YKK zippers like most of these have pretty clean on the inside. Do like these boots. And here is a pair of like slip on dress shoes with this cool buckle right here. Um, that's mainly why I got them. Also a very different color. It's like a dark or almost like a wine color I should say. Uh, when I just want something easy to slip on and something that maybe doesn't go as high up your leg as a boot. The brand is Aristocraft uh, Johnson & Murphy, they're made in USA. Another pair of boots from Goodwill. We have these Durango work boots. These have a huge heel on them. It doesn't look like they were worn that much. The top is definitely worn, but yeah, really interesting color. Really like round toe bit, insulated, keeps your foot like sturdy. Definitely a work boot, which I don't mind wearing these for work actually. Durango. I think that's a pretty cool detail. It's on both sides. Really like these boots. They're actually very heavy. I don't like holding them up. Four final accessories. I have a few things to show you guys. Metal suede belt. Um, something really simple. Here's a hat I was wearing last video. You've probably seen it already. Literally just says handyman. This one's pretty sweet. It's a trucker hat that says West Point on there. Black corduroy. I was actually born in West Point, so I usually collect a lot of West Point hats. Here's another one. It's white and brown. Again, USMA, West Point, United States. This one's more of like a baseball cap. Fly with the new superpower. It's got a cool embroidered eagle, so it's just white and brown hat. We have these Margellas right here. I'm not even going to talk about these too much. I'm sure you've seen Margella replicas a lot. Um, these ones are super dirty. I'm in the middle of cleaning them up right now. Definitely a shape that I wear all the time. So another thing I've been doing recently is collecting DVDs from Goodwill. They're super cheap, kind of fun to just play on like my PlayStation or something. Fargo, one of my favorite movies of all time. Coen Brothers are amazing. I'm sure you guys know. Um, we have Lost in Translation, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Fight Club. I found this really sick version of Fight Club. It's got like a little package thing. Eternal Sunshine, uh, Django. These are all mostly like guilty favorite. Love Watchmen. We have The Dark Knight, Superbad, Transformers, uh, X-Men First Class. If you know, you know. Favorites that I'll put on in the background sometimes. Looking for more obscure films. It's kind of hard to find like really good ones at Goodwill. Before we go, we also have to do music suggestions. Somebody usually gets mad if I don't. Here you go. Here's some songs. Yeah, how did he does it? Stuck in the knees, 
feels it cause I love it. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of footage. I know I haven't been putting out enough videos, but I promise there's gonna be a lot more coming. I honestly just like when people leave comments. I appreciate you guys for watching again. I know I've been taking long breaks and stuff, so people like still here, like watching the videos honestly amazes me. I appreciate you guys so much and uh, have a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah.